Hello friends. I've uh, got a little rosemary lit. Uh, I do love sage, but sometimes I like to switch it up a little bit and um, so this could be something that you have in your, your fridge, your cupboard, a little sprig of rosemary. It's got a lovely scent and it can also help to cleanse your space and just help to get you uh, centered and grounded. I'll just set that down. I wanted to do uh, another meditation for you. This one is to draw upon the strength and resiliency of our ancestors, those that came before us that went through uh, similar times to this, where it's a huge shift in, in your way of life and there's a lot of fear and anxiety. You think about what your ancestors went through, your grandparents, great-grandparents. They experienced wars, uh, the Great Depression, tuberculosis, typhoid, Spanish flu, and how difficult it was in their lifetime, but yet they persevered, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Uh, I lost my great-grandmother, of course I didn't know her, but she was 23 and taken by the flu epidemic, and she had five young children, and her parents uh, and her in-laws stepped in to help raise the children. So we think about community and family, and we're all in this together, and we take care of ourselves and each other. So one of the ways that you can practice self-care is through meditation, and you can draw upon the strength of those that came before you uh, whether you believe in the afterlife or not, um, energetically we can still draw on that energy to give us strength and to remind us that we can get through it because our past ancestors have. So let's get comfortable and get ourselves uh, ready. Let's feet on the floor. Don't cross your arms or your legs. Let the energy flow through. Take your three deep cleansing breaths and then just listen to my voice and I'll guide us through the meditation. Deep breath in through the nose, hold, and out through the mouth. Feel your body relax. Let yourself settle into your seat. Allow any thoughts to come and go, and then just follow along with the sound of my voice. So I want you to picture a rustic cabin in the woods, wooden beams, wooden floor, smells coming from the kitchen, fire crackling in the hearth, and a beautiful rough hewn wood table in the center. And at this table, there's a steaming cup of tea and a plate of home-baked goodies. And you're at your grandmother's house. Seated at the table is a grandmother. It could be anyone from your past that you know or you don't know. Just picture what you have in your mind of the perfect, wise, older person. It could be male or female. Just settle in your mind who you want to see there with you. And make sure that it's someone that you both love and admire. Now reach out your hand and take their hand in yours. The hand is weathered and gnarled. It's worn, calloused. That hand has seen so much hardship and troubles. And yet that hand is full of love and hope and optimism. Hold that hand. Smile at that person. Let them know through your silence and through your holding of their hand that you are with them, that you accept their love and their wisdom. Allow the energy to flow between the two of you. Give them your love. Receive their love. Now think about what messages that person would have to give to you today. A message of hope, a message of strength, a message of courage. 
They know this too shall pass. They know you will get through this. You are coping. You are doing the best that you can. Look at their beautiful smiling face. All those lines tell a story. Those hands that have held and nurtured and cradled, kneaded bread, chopped wood, sown seeds into the land, saw the birth of animals, saw the birth of children, been through so much and yet those hands still have strength. Hold that hand, be in stillness and gratitude with your grandmother or grandfather. The love, the pure love that comes from them fills you up. It gives you hope, it gives you courage. It's all encompassing, it's abundant, it's forever. In this moment and all the moments after, you will feel their love and their strength. It is with you always, always know that. So let's sit quietly holding a hand of a beloved ancestor and allow them to pass on to you, your mind to their mind, your heart to their heart, the wisdom they pass on to you, the courage. Allow them to give you any message that you need to hear and send them your love back. So peaceful, so gentle. They know you, they love you. Thank you, grandmother. Thank you. Thank you for the messages. Thank you for the love. Thank you for being with me and my children. My heart is full. Thank you. And when you feel that you're ready to come back, you've received any loving messages, or that you've just felt all their love and you've taken it in, bring yourself back to your chair, to your surroundings. And when you're ready, just open your eyes and carry with you from this moment forward this feeling of strength, of calm, of peace, of knowing that you're loved and cared for from the other side, energetically drawing in the strength of your ancestors and all they've experienced. They know you can get through this. I hope you feel peaceful. I hope that this has given you some courage and some hope. Blessings.